you've ever wished to be the Pablo Escobar of Minecraft? Well, the mod mechanist shows you how. I hope everybody enjoys, and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We need to deep dive into this gameplay. Now, we say hurry with a grain of salt because there's going to be a lot of building today. As you can see, I got rid of all the trees over here on this side of the building. We have everything pre-done here. Most of it is mechanisms. That's kind of what we're going to be getting into today. On top of a cardboard box, a sawmill, and enchantment table, we can see exactly what we can do. That being said, the sun is rising and we need to get to work. So, how we're going to do it is from here, we're going to build, I believe, an extension going out this way. And then on top of the extension, there's going to be a building right here. I think this is going to be my enchantment building, and then underneath all this, I'm going to start lining the walls up with mechanists and see exactly what we can build. We have the regular stuff here, but to get power, we're actually going to get some solar panels. And just in case we try to craft during nighttime, we are also going to get about two to three wind generators. Now you might be thinking, all this sounds all good, but it seems like it requires a lot, and I mean a lot of material. And we actually started to get a lot of material. A lot of this stuff is on top that we have the most of is actually um, like it's a lot of material. I have 227 iron plus whatever is in here. Osmium I got a bunch of. It's uh, it's good. We have a good amount um, and all we have to do is double the ore, smack them in this chest and they come out this way. That being said, I'm going to get started on the building. And I think I'm the first to get started on extending this, terraforming that, and then we'll build that second uh, building right there for the enchantment table. Boom, there it is. I do have my stone house for my enchanting. And of course, I have the overhang right here that we built on that will house all the solar panels up top and wind turbines for down below for it to be mechanized. Now I do have sand cooking, that way I can get some glass. Yeah, I would like this whole area because all these are pretty much lined up. I actually need to fill in this dirt gap here while I explain what's happening. On this wall at least, uh, because I like the open layouts, but on the wall right next to me, I would like to have everything be almost like uh, glass. So that way it's not uh, like it's not terrible looking, uh, but only this side is glass. So that way it still sees out. Same thing with like from uh, like this will go off into the ledge, uh, but it will still stay about the same. Uh, it'll probably stay till about right here and then I'll just line the edge up until that log. Now you can see inside of this, uh, you're going to have the basic understanding of an enchantment table, bookshelf, so on and so forth. But for the most part, it seems like um, I'm going to have to just light this place up just a little bit more. That's all because of my texture pack. And of course, when I say texture pack, I do mean shaders pack. But as the sand cooks over there to finish out this build, we're actually going to get started on Mechanist. And of course, the first thing you need to make is this infuser. So let's make one real fast. So of course, we just made the infuser right here, which is more than fine, but we need power for it. So that's when we actually make the, sol the advanced solar generator and the wind generator. Now, I did have to move it over next to my cobble generator so that way it actually gets some energy going. As you can see, the power is having a really issue, really big issue to kind of keep up. So that's what, that's one of the major things with this that we actually need to upgrade. This. Let's take this out. Now we're about to go from copper to I believe iron, then gold, then dismond, and with the diamond, we should be able to make sixty four fe per tick. If I'm not mistaken, that already filled up this substantially, and it's going to fill it up more, holding up to 100,000 FE, which is amazing for what we need it for, as every little thing here needs about 8,000 FE. 8,000 KFE, sorry. Or 8, 8, 8 KFE, sorry. 
Now, of course, this is a great substitute for right now, but it won't last forever. But as we now have a substantial amount of power going and having the infuser, what we're going to do is make an enrichment chamber. And that's why we need the basic controller circuit. Now, I know a lot of this episode is going to be getting into a mechanist and uh, the base building was a little bit of an additional you know, add-on for it. Now, I am making steel for this uh, steel uh, casing for anything you need for mechanist. One of the cool things that they added, though, is that you don't need a steel dust. You can just smelt down a regular steel compound, which is just four coal plus an ingot. Now, enrichment chamber in hand. All we have to do now is put it next to the power as we have it here. And this is going to allow us to get a lot of enriched items to make it better for anything and everything that we can think of. Ancient debris into dirty netherite scraps. We can do that. Now to store the en energy from this, I really don't think I can do that since I just tried to pipe in the actual basic universal cables and I could be wrong by doing that into these two, but it didn't seem like it worked. It seems like it only works when you do something like this. That being said, let's actually get uh, the actual mechanist generators up and running and we'll start with a wind turbine. With a wind turbine acquired and I have it facing the wrong way for, for whatever reason, I can actually output energy into anything and everything that I need to. Now with those two working and actually having energy now, we, I kind of want to make these advanced solar generator as well. Now, of course, the solar panel will not work when it's nighttime out. Let's, uh, let's head to bed real fast. Now I'm going to lug this all the way up here. If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to just place. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> it's, no, I don't think that's supposed to be happening, but it's working. Seems like everything is good, and I believe this is going to be enough power for at least a while. That being said, I have power on top of power. And now we can actually go into making the basic smeltering factory and a lot more. But first, we need to make a basic energy cube. Now, separating it off the basic energy cube, I'm going to siphon a lot more of this power down into the actual energy cube itself. While I still do have this power going strictly for these, so that way they don't run out of power. So slowly but surely, those are getting filled. As long as it's getting filled, I'm kind of happy with it to say that that is done. Now next, we do want to make this energized smelter, which actually just needs some more of the steel. See, with the base or with the energy smelter, we can actually make the smelting factory with it as well. The basic smelting factory will actually get the power and we can make three different, we can get three different things smelting at the same time. Just like this iron dust, if we want to smelt all three, it will compress it all down. Of course, we can upgrade it, but we can compress it all down into iron ingots. And it's making three at once. So now we don't need this system anymore of a blasting furnace with that and that. We can just use mechanist to smelt everything we need. And then I'm probably just going to be able to auto eject it out to somewhere else. That also holds three stacks of 64. So realistically, I could just manually pick it up until we get storage mods. We don't really have a whole lot that we can get together when we talk about something like a wireless uh, terminal or anything like that. We just have to wait for AE2. did him to himself now i did do up this room in here a little bit with some uh deodor deodorite di diorite whatever um in the in the bottom and i do have a fortune one efficiency three on breaking three from my enchantment table so realistically so realistically the only thing i really have for me right now is the cardboard box and a sawmill now, a sawmill looks pretty easy to make, so let's make that real fast. Now, a sawmill can kind of just go... Ooh, sorry. Traveling trader, what you got for me? Uh-huh. Nothing good, though, huh? I actually need that white dye. 
I need. I mean need that white die. Hey buddy, you wanna trade me that white die right there? Thanks, buddy. All I saw was red. All I saw was red. And then they were just <laughs> they were just all gone. I, I don't know what I did. Okay. Now that the morning's over, let's uh make this. So all I have to do now is I believe throw in logs into there. And it will slowly but surely give me sawdust. Yes, sawdust. And now I just need four sawdust to make a cardboard box. And that is how we're going to start AE2. I think I'm going to start that in the next episode. Now, I edited this video and I kind of needed to add on a little more things. <laughs> uh... I, I, I'm not going to do a digital mire today because that's actually really in depth. Plus you need a bunch, I mean a bunch of ender pearls, which I still am kind of trying to find out exactly the best way to do that. But I do want to make a jetpack and some free runners. Free runners are pretty easy to make. Let me, ooh, let me go back in my storage and find all the materials for it. Now I am running out of redstone at a very rapid rate, which I'm fine with, but realistically i'm gonna need some asap so we get movement efficiency with these free runners but the only way that they actually run out of energy if i'm not mistaken hello oh, i need to replace my shoes is if we fall from a great height we won't take any damage let's go as you can see they did reduced by 0 0.06 KFE. Now, the only reason why we needed those was so that way we could make a jetpack. Now, tin, steel, all that's all good and dandy. I'm actually gonna need to go down and get some more redstone, so I'll be right back. So, after getting pretty much everything, what we need is a kitchen, or a sink at least, and the sink is gonna be pretty easy, just some terracotta, a bucket of water, so on and so forth. And what we're going to do is get these mechanical ingots as well. So I do need to get a little bit more steel going. Which that does look like I'm going to need a lot more ingots when it comes to the jetpack, which of, of steel, which is pretty easy to make. But we actually need to make uh, these pipes real fast just so that we can get some fluid in. Now with both the kitchen sink and the pipes done, and I still have my energy cables good, what we are going to do is we're going to get the jetpack. Now, the jetpack's pretty easy. I need 10 ingots, so let me get 10 out. Let's break it down to some dust. And I'm going to get that smelting. Now, with that smelting, we are then going to need... What else do we need? We also need a basic, uh, basic chemical tank. And that is going to be dust, uh, redstone dust plus some osmium i know i have a bunch in here so don't don't test me on it there you go now we actually do need to make this separator and it's pretty simple to make i think i have everything but a few more iron ingots and this infuser i need gold and osmium dust okay well here's some osmium dust and no, I have gold dust, or I had gold dust in here. Perfect. Now, I do have the separator now. And, of course, this is the thing that I need to be put over here. And we are also going to be getting a kitchen sink into it. So, it should be pretty simple. This just goes like that. Because that's going to get filled up. And then this then gets a fluid pipe. Goes over like that. Let me tell you. Three YouTube videos later, I finally figured out how to pull water in from this. So, I need iron, osmium, steel, and I should have all that on us. Now, all we have to do is right click, and it brings it in, and give me a basic chemical canister, and that's filling up with hydrogen. Now! That's gonna get, that's gonna fill up with hydrogen pretty simplistic, realistically. 
then we need to make the actual jetpack. Now, I have that there. I have the tin ingots actually getting made, and that's going to be done. So, what we're then going to do is fill this up with hydrogen. I believe all I have to do, because there's that. Actually, let me make another one of these. Then I can make the jetpack. And if I'm not mistaken, I just throw the jetpack in there. And it is filling up with hydrogen mixed with the hydrogen that is getting produced as well right there. Amazing. I will say this thing took a lot of power uh, for no reason. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that took a lot of power out of everything, and I think everything's now empty. Uh, the only thing that's full right now is the basic energy cube, which is absolutely crazy to me that that's full. But also, can you guys shut up, please? Oh, so he's inside. They're not. Hey, buddy, what's going on here, man? Now, as we get everything edited for today, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, don't forget to comment down in the in down below. Just comment something. Let me know that I could have done something better, so I could have done something worse, or give me some tips and tricks for all the mod series. I hope everybody enjoys, and from the happy go leprechaun of Freak Weasel himself, I say farewell. Bye bye.